Okay. Probably uh, every uh, Linux uh, system administrator knows uh, the top command uh, to show the Linux system CPU usage. Um, he, so in this video, uh, I want to uh, talk a, a little bit about the top command and how to use it properly uh, to show more detailed information ab about, uh, about the Linux system uh, CPU usage. So I will use big IP as example here. So say I type a top command. Uh, it gives me, uh, in the summary section, it gives me the, the overall CPU usage. Um, so basically, the, uh, this is for user space, uh, CPU usage. Uh, in user space, this is in the uh, kernel space or system space. And uh, then, uh, yeah, those field here. And uh, so, uh, but the default output isn't that uh, very useful. And uh, I'll explain why. Uh, say, here, this uh, you you pay attention to this column, and um, so here it doesn't give you a uh, uh, which pro this process on which uh, CPU core. So, uh, for example, if I type uh, number one uh, in this window, top window, it gives me uh, how many uh, CPU cores uh, on, on this big IP. So uh, immediately it gives me uh, 0, 1 uh, to 7, uh, which is 8 uh, CPU core. So I can type uh, letter 1 again, uh, then it, it, it goes the, the summary. So type 1 again. It expanded to number of CPU cores. So uh, once you see this output, uh, then sometimes you may see a, a particular uh, core. Uh, maybe it's b is busier or uh, or less busier than other cores. And um, so you wanted to know uh, what process uh, is running on that particular core. And again here, uh, uh, those columns, it doesn't show uh, the, the processor uh, core ID uh, for those processes running. So, but I can show you how. Uh, first, you, you go into the uh, uh, field, uh, top field, by pressing uh, letter F. So then it gives you the the current field uh, uh, selected for the current field for top you can uh, select. So those with uh, asterisk uh, is already selected. Um, like like if we uh, escape, uh, we can see there is a PID user uh, virtual memory uh, rest in the memory. Right, so those are already selected uh, uh, field. So let's press letter F again, and we can see uh, those field are selected. So we wanna, if we wanna uh, show a extra field, so we can uh, type uh, those uh, letters. So what I wanted to know is, uh, what is the, what is the last used CPU? For a particular uh, process, so uh, this is uh, useful when you are troubleshooting uh, CPU usage, and you wanted to know uh, what process is uh, using the CPU. So okay, so let's type uh, a letter J. Okay, it's se se selected right. So let's is type escape key, and then. Uh, did you notice there's a new column added here? 
it, this means uh, show this uh, CPU core ID for each process. Okay, so now we, we know uh, which process is running is uh, used on the last uh, processor or core ID. So, uh, and uh, we can also type letter C uh, if you want to show the full command, the process command. Uh, uh, argument. So let's type letter C. Okay. So did you notice the uh, this guy expanded more with more argument uh, in the output? So the type letter C uh, is the trick. And uh, so uh, a, a little bit more about this. Uh, this uh, capital dash capital T is meaning. Uh, th this TMM process uh, has eight uh, thread. So some other process may have, like this ker this kernel thread, uh, actually also runs on each core. And uh, uh, so, um, so we want to show the thread. We also want to not only about the Per CP per process per CP usage, we also wanted to know per thread per CPU uh, usage. So, in order to do that, we in this window we type we type a, a capital letter H, which is a, a shift H. So see, it, it gives you a, a, it just pop up, show threads on. And then now uh, you can see here, uh, TMM has eight thread, and each thread is uh, pinned to a, a CPU core. And um, so uh, this is used for output. Uh, whenever uh, someone ask, uh, says uh, my CPU usage is high, and I think this top output will give you more detailed uh, information on uh, what process or what uh, thread is using a particular uh, CPU core. Um, yeah, so actually you can also save this uh, field setting by uh, type in capital capital letter W, which is uh, shift W. So it will write a, a dot top RC file to your home directory, and uh, so if you quit top command, and uh, you can see you have um, you have a, a top. Top uh, file uh, created here, and then so now if you run top again, it will take that setting and uh, give you a more detailed uh, output. Yes, so that, that that is useful, right? Let's quit this window, and uh, also uh, once uh, with that setting, you can also run uh, in a uh, a batch mode uh, with like a uh, interval one second and a batch mode uh, to output it, it to a, a file so you can give to someone to uh, uh, to check uh, uh, what process or thread is using which CPU core say uh, just uh, leave it running and uh, so every one second, it is supposed to uh, output batch output the 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 CPU the top output to this file. So let's stop it, and uh, let's see. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have the same uh, detail output here, and. Uh, and uh, that is uh, useful for troubleshooting uh, CPU usage. See, uh, 
57, 58, 59. So every one second, we have uh, this uh, CPU usage output. So this is useful for troubleshooting uh, uh, Linux system CPU usage, or, or in this case, big IP too.